Whoa. Good morning, guys. I just woke up here on the beach. Yes, Bitcoin crashed, so I need to sleep in this beach hut now. <laughs> Did you freak out when you saw Bitcoin below 9K? I hope not. I hope you are educated by my videos, and I hope by now you know not to freak out, but to zoom out, guys. For the newcomers to the channel, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, I am the guy that sold literally everything he owned, inclusive his house, his companies, went all into Bitcoin three years ago and started traveling the world. We are still traveling the world today. I'm coming to you from Koh Phangan, Thailand, this beautiful beach where I slept in this beach hut because Bitcoin crashed. Today, of course, I'm going to talk about the reasons of this drop in Bitcoin, what we can expect after this drop. I am going to talk about BTC Pay and many other projects out there, guys, because I get many questions which are my five favorite of everything. So I am going to give you my top five altcoins. I'm going to give you my top five projects and all the things you asked in the comments yesterday. So it's going to be a cool video, maybe a little bit long, but then again, use the timestamps if you want to go to the next section of the video. I wish you a lot of fun with watching this today's videos I created here on this beautiful beach in Koh Phangan, Thailand. Let's take a jump into my office, guys. Okay, I promised I would show you another beautiful location today, but I woke up too late. No, I didn't drink. I just woke up late, so sorry. I'm too late now to drive to somewhere and record a video and publish it on time and all this, guys. Because I want you to be able to watch this video while you're drinking your coffee in the morning. So I will take the walk on my own beach again, but I won't stop at the corner. I will walk into the second part of the beach as well. So it will be a little bit different than you're used to. I want to start guys with saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you again guys, because last Friday's video guys was watched more than 7,000 times. This is a record for us. Sorry, I am lying. We have one video that is watched like 15,000 times, but that's like a three year old video um, where the kids did a yoga challenge. Because of doing this yoga challenge, they got into this yoga playlist. And in this yoga playlist, everybody watched the video. But since we have been making these videos, 7K is a huge number for our channel because we don't even have 5,000 followers yet. 5,000 subscribers. Our channel grew tremendously since the last two months I've been making these daily videos. And all thanks to you guys, all thanks to you watching my content, sharing my content, giving the thumbs up to my content. Yesterday I asked you guys to smash this thumbs up button. We got more than 250 thumbs up on the video. That is almost 100 thumbs ups more than normally. Can we do this today again? Let's, like, let's put the bar a little bit higher. I want to see 300 thumbs up today. Yes, I'm becoming greedy now. I want to see 300 thumbs up before Monday. Like this one, the blue one. Now hit it, hit it. Now just start hitting it now so we have 300 thumbs up when we wake up on Monday morning. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. The channel is taking off and I, I'm very thankful guys because I've put so much effort and work in it that you know I, I'm, I'm, I'm just very happy to see the result now. And to share this happiness with you guys, I'm going to give away a t-shirt. No, I'm going to give away two t-shirts guys because everybody that shares today's videos, that gives the video a thumbs up and that leaves a comment, the combo of those three, sharing, thumbs up, leaving a comment, I will do a giveaway and two of you guys that did all of these three things will get a t-shirt for free. You can choose your own t-shirt. I would prefer to give you the Born to be Free t-shirt because I love to spread the message of Born to be Free. I will announce the winners on Monday. The only thing you need to do is thumbs up, share and leave a comment. The Bitcoin price guys. Ah! No, don't freak out. Zoom out. Bitcoin went below 9k. Um, as expected in a few charts I already shared like uh, a couple of times we could pull back a little bit around 9k we could even pull back to 8k but if we zoom out just don't freak out but zoom out we will see the bigger picture and we will see that Bitcoin um, will go slowly into this bull run I yesterday made a video that the bull run was started does that mean that if I say that the bull run starts that Bitcoin is like is right away going to fly up to the moon from nine to one hundred thousand in two weeks or in three weeks or in a month no of course not 
I always say these are long-term indicators so they flash now but they are a flashing signal for the long term they are telling us that if you buy now and you wait a couple of months till year then it is a positive result they don't tell us to buy now and tomorrow we will be a millionaire this is not happening with these indicators then you need to look at the daily or the minute indicators then you can make money on a daily basis I prefer to zoom out in crypto and that is why I mostly talk about these long-term indicators this hash ribbon indicator started to flash and that is for me the start of the next bull run and yes this bull run can take up to two years and yes we can go to 8k we can go to 7k we can even go to 6k in this two-year period but we can see on the chart that every time when this indicator flashed we saw a huge bull run afterwards and yes you can also see after each blue dot the market kept being volatile you cannot have a one straight line up you go up you go down you go up you go down and slowly you climb by making higher lows and higher highs other indicators that still make me bullish is that most bitcoin hodlers hold their bitcoins already longer than a year in their wallet and that is because they are bullish that is because they are positive that is because they don't want to miss out on this huge bull run because they know how to see and read these bigger pictures that is why they haven't been moving their bitcoin since they again bought them around the 3k to 5k levels they will minimum stay in the wallet till we see a new all-time high guys so that is an indicator for me as well and last but not least guys look around you look at the economic the money printing machine is making over hours it's almost unbelievable how much dollars are being printed to save the economy all this printing of money will lead to a devaluation of this dollar in the long term we cannot keep printing so i think this dollar will be worthless in the far future when all these stable currencies lose their value people will search for alternatives and bitcoin and many cryptocurrencies are the alternative to this devaluating dollars euros and many other currencies again guys in one to two years i still see a one hundred thousand dollar bitcoin price i'm still very positive on this something really cool as well is that we also see the evolution of this technology now at the payment processors btc pay is one of these three where uh, payment processors you can integrate into your store normally when you accept bitcoin as a payment and the customer wants a refund for example you need to figure out which wallet he used and then you're texting to the customer is this the wallet i can send the bitcoins back to and the customer needs to agree with this and then you send the bitcoins back and all that stuff it's a lot of administration for these uh, merchants and now because of the newest update of btc pay now you are able as a merchant to just push the button on the invoice and then these bitcoins will be refunded this is also very positive because this will make it more easy for these merchants to start accepting bitcoin as a payment and because these payment providers are simplifying the use of bitcoin i think the mass adoption in all these online merchants will um, grow as well we already saw that shopify now starts to accept bitcoin as well so this is all very positive if you look at the big picture of bitcoin i almost forgot to talk about this chart because this chart i posted in my video on the 18th of june this was one of the charts that said okay i think this is going to happen to the bitcoin price now and um, at that point i found the chart very interesting i lost track of this chart but i found it back today and if you look at this chart this chart was completely right you can see this triangle ending all the way down around like 8600 we um, almost went there yesterday this chart was completely right till now this chart also is showing us that after this moment we will need to bounce off the support and then go up to 10k again in the next two months so also this chart is telling us that we will go sideways for much longer many other ta's are expecting a sideways movement of bitcoin till the end of this year so till the end of this year we'll, we will keep playing this table tennis game between 8k 10k 8k 10k you know the game i already referred to a few times so this could even take to the end of the year maybe just maybe bitcoin will repeat what it has done many times maybe it will create all this happiness for the community around these beautiful days we celebrate life 
like Christmas, guys. Because if we look back into 2017, do you still remember this period in December when Bitcoin started to take off, guys? As a end of the year, no COVID, no lockdown Christmas present. Who knows? I almost wanted to walk back here to this beautiful part of my beach. Um, but no guys, I don't want to show you only the beauty of these beaches. Now I'm going to show you this low tide part of the beach where there is no water. So I want to show you a different part of the wing of my office today. Instead of just my happy mushroom trees and palm trees on the beautiful white sand beach. Many people ask me, Didi, where are you trading? I am trading on many exchanges and to be clear, I test all kinds of exchanges. Why? Because I want to see the newest trend in the exchanges. I want to see the simplicity of using the exchanges. I want to see the possibilities that every exchange has to offer. Um, I always play around. I love to play around. For me, it all, all started with Bittrex and Binance and even uh, Cryptopia, it, called, uh, it was called. They were famous in 2016, 17 when I started trading. So you always have these accounts. Um, if you want to use these exchanges I've been using, then please use my referral links because then you will receive cool sign-up bonuses and I will receive a small commission. And as you used from us, we will use this commission to share it with the poor people we meet during our travels. At the moment, I'm exploring a little bit with Prime XBT and Dudex, two new exchanges that not only look very cool, but it also work very simple. I like all the features they are providing their customers, and it's an easy way to onboard, you know, and start using them. Prime XBT, if you sign up with our affiliate code, you will get a 50% deposit bonus. That means if you deposit 100 euros, you get 50 euros for free to trade guys so there's a 50 percent deposit bonus that's a lot of money if you send some bitcoins to this exchange by using our referral code do dex at the moment i could make a very beautiful deal for you guys if you sign up to do dex and if you send your bitcoins there you can get a bonus up to 300 us dollars that is free money guys most of these exchanges guys are not the exchanges for starters, are exchanges for a little bit more experienced traders because they are leveraged trading exchanges. And then the people always ask me, oh, but where do you buy your Bitcoins? I started buying my Bitcoins at Kraken a long time ago. I'm still using Kraken. I also have a referral link to Kraken. Uh, I think it's one of the most reliable exchanges where you can buy your Bitcoins. They always work completely perfectly for me i have never had any problem in the last four years with kraken so if you want to buy bitcoins in an easy way um, i would use kraken to buy bitcoins at the moment then a more difficult question for me to answer on this beautiful day here in kopangan i'm always asked didi which are your favorite altcoins i find it very difficult to answer this question because i have different categories in my altcoins so i will try to explain to you how I diversify my portfolio and why I have different categories in my altcoins. One of the categories for my altcoins is the payment providing altcoins. So altcoins that are focused on being the new money. If it comes to this, I of course love Bitcoin, but I can also see that Bitcoin is becoming slowly a little bit more the new gold than a peer-to-peer -peer payment tool that we can use for micropayments. If I need to look at an alternative for peer-to-peer -peer micropayments, my favorite currency used for this at the moment are of course Litecoin, Dash, Verge, Monero and guys Bitcoin Cash. Probably now a huge discussion why I say Bitcoin Cash as well. But before you start this discussion with me in the comments, first give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share it with your community and then leave a comment why you think I shouldn't say Bitcoin Cash or one of the other payment currencies or even leave me a comment which currencies you are using in a daily base so I can start to explore these. That was my payment sections. If it comes to use cases, to currencies that I really daily use in my life, then I have five different projects that I love. One of these projects is Excel token. Excel token is the token you can use for example on Excel trip and Excel trip is the platform that enables it for me to travel all the world and book all my flights and book all my hotels using Bitcoin, Litecoin, Excel token and many other cryptocurrencies. So Excel trip for me is a project I use in my daily life. And we have BAT, of course, 
the basic attention token i love that one because guys now you can earn crypto by just browsing the internet and clicking some ads and incentivize other people for creating this content on the internet so i'm using bat also in my daily life i have all the links down below in my description so if you want to sign up to these um, companies that i'm referring to now please you my, use my referral links because again we want to support all these poor people on the world we meet and we will use all this revenue we make of these links and um, another token i use daily is epix epix is this new kind of instagram but then where people incentivize each other for making beautiful pictures and sharing these beautiful pictures i think it's apx token i love this project as well because i'm using it in a daily base i'm sharing my pictures on epix on a daily base and people are upvoting them and liking them and that's how i earn cryptocurrencies some pictures up to 60 us dollar worth of cryptocurrency and we know there is a market because else instagram wouldn't be such a successful company Epix is going to be the Instagram of this blockchain industry. I made a video about Chillis. Why I like Chillis? Because it connects the fans to their idols or to their sport clubs or to their favorite e-gaming teams, you know? These are also creating real life use cases. I bought Barcelona tokens because I like Barcelona and already used my tokens now to vote for which next art piece is going to hang in the dressing room of the Barcelona players. So again, a project with a real use case that you can use right away. So that is why I love Chilis. Chilis is the coin created by Socius. Socius is the app you need to download and Chilis is the currency this platform uses. And also guys to Socius, use my link. There's another project called Bravo. Bravo is more like the new trip advisor, but then blockchain based. You earn cryptocurrencies by reviewing hotels, bars, companies, all these things you can review on um, TripAdvisor as well, but now you earn the money. And of course, I can't leave that one behind. We have decent bet. I still have my DBET tokens and I don't just like them because the CEO Jedediah is a friend. No, I like the project because this project makes it able to incentivize your gaming skills. So you can use decent bet to play Fortnite or one of these other very famous games. And then if you play these games using DBET, you can incentivize your gaming skills. Essentially, you can earn cryptocurrency by just doing the thing you always do by gaming. Then I always look at my favorite wallets because I always keep track of all the wallets that are being created because these wallets I use daily. So I want to know what the newest trend is in these wallets. I love, for example, the Lite.im wallet. Lite.im supported a huge part of our tour and that is not the only reason I like them. The main reason I like them is that these guys created a real cool usable wallet. You can now use Facebook Messenger, Telegram to send, receive, buy and sell Bitcoins. They even made a tool that now you can send Bitcoins from your Facebook Messenger. You send Bitcoins to an email address or a telephone number. The receiver doesn't even need to have a Bitcoin wallet. You can send it by email. So I love what this project is doing. They are simplifying the use of Bitcoin by using current technology instead of creating new ones. I don't know in the whole if Facebook is doing okay guys now because I saw that Mark just got a little bit poorer. I think $8 billion poorer because uh, the stock price dropped tremendously after this huge company said we are going to boycott Facebook. We are not going to place ads in Facebook anymore. Yes, we are talking about uh, Coca-Cola, Nestle, all the big companies in the world. They said now, now we are not going to post any ads the next month on Facebook to show you guys that you need to start watching the content that is put on Facebook. There's a lot of discriminating, unfiltered content on Facebook that we don't want to support as our brand. So we're not going to buy ads for 30 days. A other wallet I'm closely looking to is crypto.com, of course. Um, not only to use it as a wallet, but also to use it as a staking mechanism. What is staking? To compare staking to the traditional banking system, when you put your money on a banking savings account, you got like 4% interest. You used to get 4% interest, now you get zero, or even you need to pay now. But you used to get some interest on your bank account um, in the good old days. Nowadays, in the Bitcoin world, we call this staking. So crypto.com makes it possible to stake your USD dollar Tether or your Bitcoins or your crypto.com coins. And all these coins give you an interest. 
The highest interest is 18% per year. It, it all depends on how much and how long you stake. Let's, let's take an example if you stake in crypto.com. If you stake the crypto.com currency and you do a flexible stake, which means you can withdraw your currencies whenever you want. Flexible, you will receive up to 14%, I think, on your um, staked amount. If you use a one-month staking period, I think you get 16%. And if you use a three-month period, you can get up to 18% per year. These stakes are not paid at the end of the year, they are paid weekly. This means that every week you are paid your interest. And this means you can use this interest again to multiply the amount of staking. So you get this cumulative amount of staking currencies, which can lead up to a lot of interest you're making on your crypto. Easy, free money. That's why I always watch the trends, the new developments in the market, because that is exactly how I can increase the amount of cryptocurrencies I hodl. If it comes to two currencies I'm looking into at the moment, so I'm doing my research, um, then that would be Chainlink and Beam. Both projects are getting a lot of traction now in the media and in the crypto community, so I'm diving into them to see what exactly makes them different from all the other currencies uh, in the market. And then when it comes to real-life projects, guys, of course, my focus is on blockchainvalley.com, the project in Sofia, Bulgaria, and House of Dao, the project here on the beautiful island of Koh Phangan, because both of these projects are striving to create these amazing co-working, co-living places where people live and work together to create projects that will improve the future for our kids. Because that is exactly what I think we need to focus on in blockchain. We need to create a beautiful future for our children. We must not leave our kids behind in this future of enslavement and dependence depending on this centralized organizations and centralized currencies because that would not be a great future for my children. I want to leave them a beautiful decentralized future where they have all the opportunity and where every kid in the world is equal to use the monetary system and to use the knowledge we all have. That is why I need to support these projects like Blockchain Valley and House of Dao because their focus is on, is on creating these kinds of surroundings where family can live. And then when more families will live on these places, we as a family will feel at home as well. Because then my kids will get social contacts with the same-minded children, same-minded families. And that is a very important thing now in our lives if it comes to my children. Our children just told us last week, we need some more social interaction, daddy. Can we fly to some country where we have a little bit more children of our age? Because of the lockdown in Thailand, nobody is flying in and we don't have any families on the island anymore with kids of the age of 15, 12, you know, and, and, and 10. Traveling is our passion as a family. We love to travel. Even the kids now said that five months Kopangan, <clears throat> we are ready for the next adventure. So I'm searching for a next adventure and I always find a next adventure because that is one of my strengths. I am already visualizing my next adventure. I am already living my next adventure. And then guys, in the next couple of days or weeks, I know there will be a mail or a message or a call that will offer me a new adventure again in Europe or in America or in other parts of Asia. Let's see if I succeed again in creating this new adventure for my kids. Um, to be honest, I don't even doubt. That was the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, share the video with your friends and family, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on the next video I make and leave a comment below because I love to respond to your comments. And if you want to educate me a little bit more about a project, put it into the comments because I love to be educated. I love to educate you guys, but I also love to get some education back. Thank you for watching this video and I wish you an amazing Sunday. See you tomorrow again. Bye.